Akwa Ibom State Governor Paso Emoeno has called on both private and public sectors in the state to seize opportunities of employment to hire qualified candidates whose skills match available job openings. Pastor Eno emphasized this during the official launch of Arise Youth Employment Portal in Oyo, stressing that this initiative would significantly reduce unemployment, lessen reliance on the government, and promote development in the state. ADBN's correspondent Mary Onyemechi completes the story. In alignment with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals aimed at addressing global challenges, and fostering economic and social sustainability. Governor of Akwaibom State, Pastor Umo Eno, announced plans to establish a state interlabor committee. This committee will ensure that companies and industries operating in the state prioritize the employment of local residents across all 31 local government areas across political party lines. This state labor committee will ensure that all companies in operating in Akwaibom will show transparency in the employment of Akwaibom indigents in their various organizations. No more will we bring people from outside where we have skills to do business in Akwaibom. And this portal will give you all of the skills you need. You can go there, you can select who you want, and then you can now call them for interview. Pastor Umo Eno also revealed plans to establish a state bureau of statistics that will provide up-to-date and accurate data reflecting the current state of affairs and monitoring the progress of his administration. It's, um, it's not just right to come into a state to collate data. Department of Statistics or the Bureau of Statistics don't know you and you just finish and you pub publish the data. We are not going to interfere in your data collection, but let's know what you are doing. Let us know the parameters you are using. The governor reiterated his commitment to improving and supporting the youths through various initiatives aimed at enhancing their skills and helping them become productive members of the society. Over 200 of our youths are undertaking training in several skills that will make them employable or enable them to set up small, medium enterprises. They are doing that at the Dakada Skill Acquisition Center. We are committed to supporting our youth through the, these business support schemes. During the portal overview, Dr. Frank Epeyong, the senior special assistant to the governor in ICT, outlined the registration criteria and assured candidates that their experience on the portal would be seamless. But this is, this is unique, right? Because what we're doing is, you know, what government is doing, and, and this has been the desire of the governor. Can we match unemployed youth, you know, to the employment that do exist? You know, someone once told me that information is the key. So this is that tool that brings that information to your doorstep for you to be able to apply. That's what we're doing. In their individual remarks, stakeholders praised the governor for his bold initiative and expressed the community's eagerness to actively engage in the program. So thank you so much, Your Excellency, for creating uh, a number of shortcuts for us to achieve a lot in the acquire of state public service. I want to thank you on behalf of the business community. Thank you for this portal. Thank you for you have solved a lot of problems for us. Mary Onyemechi, ADBN News.